Hi everyone, um, good day. So I just wanted to make this short video to show you some past students work who took um, AS level and I hope it helps. So to begin with we're going to be looking at parts of the face. So we're looking at um, these lips which were drawn using colored pencil and pencil and as you can see um, there's a nice range of tone and this was work done by Athera she used to come to this school now I'm going to show you the board which she completed I know some of you are working in your sketchbook Let's see if I can show you the whole board So that's the board that she did for her initial ideas in pencil. So this will be AO1. And now AO2 and AO3, we're going to be looking at this picture. I just want to show you what she actually did for development. And this is where the printer comes in. Printer, glue and tracing paper. So what she did on the printer was print out four different pictures or different printout of her lip that she produced before she narrowed um, she reduced the size and then using text this is a, her own handwriting she changed the background so that's one and she changed as you can see here the lipstick holder and that's another one here again um Victor Varsley um, patterns here were used and as you can see some patterns on the teeth that's two <coughs> this is three and this is four okay this would be referred to as um, AO2 and AO3 this is your development and experimental and all she did was use the computer reduce the picture size um, scan and manipulated past work that she did and played around with them and cut and paste and stick them together I'm going to show you this page okay now I'm going to move on to another student and again incorporating um, text into her lip observational drawing and here um, she's used some scrunched paper and then this would be called um, development she's actually used paint pencil again initial idea nice tonal work there tonal nice tonal work of the lips development of the lips again and then i think these are her own lips that she just kissed the paper with and a nice piece of work there with the reference material. So I'll just show you this page. Okay. Equally, for your um, face, if you have time during the holiday, I think these are about six centimeters by six centimeters. It's not very big, these squares. And, um, they're kind of like doodles of different faces but do you see how each face is different and I know some of you already have started to do some experimental work but it still has to be controlled and it still has to be to the same standard and quality of your work even though they're experimental pieces and she's used different techniques can you see? Okay. Playing around with colour. 
So you could have done a very nice pencil drawing and again using the photocopier and computer you can scan your work in or save it into Word or a drawing package and then what you can do is cut the page in half so this is cut in half this is the original drawing and then on this side she's actually produced another face and added color to the background so you don't have to take your time to do the pencil drawing again because I know when you're doing a tonal piece of work, it can be very, very time consuming. When we were looking at Bridget Riley and Victor Vasley's um, line and patterns, if you can remember, we were doing some, and they also, I think it was Victor Vasley or Bridget Riley, um, also did a line drawing of a face. You can Google this on the internet and if you like, you can actually try to do one of your own. Again, this is um, a theorist work and I'll just show you the page. Okay, and these are her small samples. So all of those samples actually fit on an A4 page. And lastly, another um, form of drawing and development. This was a picture that Athera did in her um, December exam. She had five hours to complete this. Again, using um, writing, different color, joined up, not joined up, larger, in the background and a face in the foreground but to develop this what she did and can I just say that while she was actually producing this piece of work this is the paper that she used you know when your paintbrush is dirty and you want to wipe it on something so this is the paper that she used um, to wipe the excess paint and water off and she used it as part of her work and just added text on top. And then to develop this picture, again using the computer, can you see how she's changed the roses around the head, changed the background on this one and then on the second one she scanned in some of her past work on Victor Vasti's um, lines, changed the lips and the hair. Okay, so I'll just show you that page. And so you can see the page and the development. So I wanted to show you that and I hope it really helps. I've got a few more to show you. So let's just say this is series one and I've got two more to show you. Okay, bye-bye.